In this video, we will discuss the activation of the humoral immune response. The humoral immune response is the type of adaptive immune response involving B cell. To initiate humoral immune response, the B cell must first become activated. During the activation process, a specific antigen will bind to the B cell receptor, followed by the antigen get internalized or taken into the cytoplasm of the B cell by endocytosis, and then the antigen will be broken down into antigen fragments. Next, the antigen fragment will be presented on the cell surface via MHC2. Antigen fragment MHC2 complex will be recognized by the previously activated helper T cell. Provided that the activated helper T cell possess the specific T cell receptor that can recognize the antigen displayed on the MHC2 of the B cell. Here we can see that the B cell also prevent antigen fragment on MHC2. This is why B cells are also considered as an antigen presenting cell, APC. Next, the antigen recognition by the activated helper T cell will cause the T cell to secrete cytokines which then activates the B cell. Overall, we can see that both the B cell and the activated helper T cell must have the cell surface receptor that recognize the same type of antigen. Only then, the B cell will become activated. Once activated, the B cell will undergo proliferation and differentiation into many copies of plasma cell and memory B cell. The plasma cell is the variant of the activated B cell that does not have cell surface receptor, while the memory B cell are the one that have the cell surface receptor. In addition, plasma cell will secrete antibody. The memory B cell will act as immunological memory which involve in future antigen recognition. Memory B cell does not involve to fight the current infection. It is the antibody produced by the plasma cell that will fight the infection. There are five main mechanisms of antibody actions which are neutralization, agglutination, precipitation, complement system, and opsonization. For the memory B cell, since it is the activated form of B cell, it can directly proliferate and differentiate into more plasma cell and even more memory B cell if it encounter the same kind of antigen in the future. This is what we call the secondary immune response. So essentially, the memory B cell function to remember the antigen that it has encountered previously during the primary immune response and immediately differentiate into plasma cell that can produce antibody to fight the infection. This is why during the second time that our body get infected by the same antigen, our body is able to produce the antibody at a faster rate compared to the first time the infection happens. Next, we will discuss the activation of the cell-mediated immune response. This type of adaptive immune response involves cytotoxic T cell. It starts with when the infected cell or tumor or cancerous cell display the antigen fragments on the cell surface via MHC class 1. Here we have another class of the MHC molecule which is class 1. The difference between class 1 and class 2 is that the class 1 MHC will present antigen fragment that originates from the inside of the cell, which means that the cell itself that has the antigen. Why does the cell have the antigen? Maybe because the cell is infected by the viruses or the bacteria cell. Or in the case of tumor or cancerous cell, the cell has undergone mutation which causes it to produce a different kind of protein that is recognized as an antigen. Because of the nature of the antigen fragments, 
it will be presented on the cell surface via MHC1 instead of MHC2. The antigen MHC1 complex is recognized by cytotoxic T cell and not by the helper T cell. The recognition is still specific because cytotoxic T cell will use its T cell receptor to bind with the antigen fragment. The binding is also helped by the CD8 co-receptor molecule. Generally speaking, any cell with nucleus or nucleated cell can present antigen on their cell surface via MHC class 1. This means that most cell in our body has the ability to initiate cell-mediated immune response. The antigen recognition as well as stimulation from cytokine released by the activated TH cell will activate cytotoxic T cell. Upon activation, the T cell will undergo proliferation and differentiation into memory T cell and effector TC cell. Similar to memory B cell, the memory T cell is also involved in the secondary immune response. For the effector TC cell, it will secrete a protein called porphyrin that will produce pores on the plasma membrane of the infected cell. These pores will cause water and salt to enter the cell and eventually causes the cell to burst. Effector TC cell also secrete an enzyme called granzyme to initiate apoptosis. Apoptosis is a type of self-destruct mechanism or programmed cell death that cause the cell to die. Either way, we can see that cell-mediated immune response involves killing the infected cell to expose the antigen previously hiding inside the infected cell to the humoral and the innate immune response. The TC cell can bind to another infected cell that display the same type of antigen fragment on their MHC1 molecule. Overall, the humoral immune response target antigen that is extracellular in nature, but the cell-mediated immune response targets antigen that is intracellular in nature. The humoral immune response tackles the infection by releasing antibody, while the cell-mediated immune response tackles the infection by killing the infected cell. That's it for humoral and cell-mediated immune response of the adaptive immune response.